Well, welcome back to the City Rev Life Podcast. Great to have you guys join us today. I am joined here with Pastor Craig Stevens. I'm Josh Slaughterback, and we've got an exciting, in my opinion, topic to exciting? discuss today. Yes, of course, exciting. It's a fun one. All right. Um, one, depending on our listeners, one that might really interest you as far as someone who enjoys this thing, or yeah. maybe it might interest you because you're like, oh, I don't enjoy that thing, and I don't get why people do. Yeah. Um, we are talking about video games yeah, and let's talk about it. how it plays into or doesn't should it should it yeah. not into our faith yeah. as christians and That's so good. since we've got the pastor craig here he's I mean, got all the answers come on and so you know you can always just drop questions in the comments and he's got the answers i mean i think okay. as a youth pastor i am required you, probably yes. my job description to you, be here you probably we talk get this about video weekly. games all the time, yeah. All the time, we talk about video games a lot. In now, my, I, and I oversee in my the young adult ministry, yeah. so I don't get it as much sure. by any means. But I do get it. it you know, happens, they're, yeah. they're we're all they're all playing video games. Yeah, right? absolutely. And so, what would you say? How would you start this conversation off, Craig? If someone comes up to you and says, "Hey, I'm a Christian. I want to honor the Lord with my life. I want yeah. to pursue Him in all things, yeah. which we're called to." But I enjoy video games. Yeah. Is that a bad thing? Is it wrong? Is it sinful? What would you say to that person? Yeah, I think it is a good question for people to ask. I think as they uh, try to decide, okay, as a Christian, should I play video games? Is this something that I should do? Is this a way to honor the Lord with my life? I think it's a valid question to ask uh, with all forms of entertainment and all ways sure. that we use our uh, our time, right? All the ways yeah. that we use our time in our space. That's a great way to put it. It's a form of entertainment, yeah. right? I think we sometimes put it in its own category. Um, I, you know, I think depending on uh, whether or not you were raised playing video games or maybe it's something new that you just got into, um, it's a form of entertainment. It's not yeah. its own category. TV, social media, video games, all those things I think we would classify, right, as a form of entertainment in our culture today. I think it's important for us to consider how we use entertainment in our lives as Christians. Mm -hmm. And uh, video games specifically are a different form of entertainment, right? Video games are different than than other forms of entertainment, but they're not they're not that different. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's when we think should a Christian play video games? Mm -hmm. um, can a Christian honor the Lord with their lives and play video games? I think it would be a similar question to ask someone. You know, should a Christian? watch TV? Should a Christian watch movies or listen to music or use sure. social media? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a more nuanced question, I think. That answer mm -hmm. is different for different people. And I think it depends on how you use the medium of entertainment. Mm -hmm. And there are some things that are unique about video games, right? They're not as passive. They're more active. We, we make decisions in the video games that we play. Right. Uh, but at its base core, it is entertainment. And so the question really being asked is, you know, should Christians use this entertainment or how can a Christian use this entertainment uh, well? And do you think that changes things, right? Because with video games, um, what they're going for more and more these days is immersion, right? That's yeah. the word that they use. You want to immerse yourself. Everyone that plays video games um, as a hobby or maybe even religiously, like that's yeah. what they want. They want to be fully immersed. Um, so whether that be VR, like you're actually in it, or, you know, any video game, you're, you have a controller, right? Like you said, you're you're making those decisions. You're actively doing it. That that would probably be what defers it from something like watching TV. Does that make a difference? I do. I think it makes a difference. Uh, I do think it makes a difference um, in how we play video games, right? Mm -hmm. I think when you think of any form of entertainment as a Christian, the way we should engage with entertainment, one, is it's about our, our time. Mm -hmm our priorities, our heart, mm. uh, and the type, the, the content of that entertainment, yeah, right? Yeah. So to say, like, should a Christian play video games? I think it's okay, and it's even, even good. So it can be good for some Christians to play some video games. Just mm -hmm. like if you said, hey, should Christians watch movies? Mm. I can say, yeah, I think that's okay and can even be good for Christians to watch some movies. Now, mm -hmm. are you going to be watching, you know, a movie that that builds you up or a movie for entertainment? Or are you going to be watching a movie that would contain things that are just sinful, right? It depends right. on what's yeah. in there, right? Yep. And so to, to kind of look at the the monolith of video games, I think a lot of people approach it as video games are bad. 
and they think like all video games are shooting and killing and murder and and that's that's not the case. I mean, yeah. video games are a bigger industry than movies nowadays. I mean, there's more yeah, video games yeah, out they there are. They are. than any form of TV show. I mean, there's just a wide range. There are yeah. video games where you can build a zoo and then there are video games where you can, <laughs> you know, shoot people in the face, right? Yeah. Like there's there's different types of video games They're out turning there. it into an entire league now. I mean, there's there's literal leagues of yeah. certain games yeah. where you can compete even on the global scale. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. Um, it's insane what it's what they're huge. doing nowadays with it. I mean, they're filling stadiums as big as football stadiums yeah. here in America. I mean, so, so there are. It's huge. It's popular. Yeah. You know, most people, uh, at least in our country, a lot of people play video games. Like most people, mm-hmm. uh, especially younger generations. I say, if you're under forty, I say most people under forty. Yeah. Um, yep. And so you you do have to worry about the dangers of video games and the way that we consume all forms of entertainment. And one is, is you have to look at your life and say, hey, is my pursuit of this entertainment overcoming my pursuits of the Lord? Mm. And is my pursuit of this entertainment holding me back or hurting me from my responsibility as a Christian to love my neighbor, to serve those around me? Yeah, and so if you good. are, if you're so busy with any form of entertainment, you know, and, and I think video games are susceptible to this because video games are designed to keep you there and draw you in mm-hmm. maybe longer than like a movie, right? A movie, yeah. you're going to go for 90 minutes or two hours or however long it is, and then it's over. Yep. But a video game can go for hundreds of hours or oh, be designed yeah. for you to play for the rest of your life. Yep. And so you really are the one who decides when you're done with it. And so I think um, that's something to consider is saying, hey, is this hobby, is this entertainment uh, keeping me from doing the things that I need to do, right? So if you're, if you're yeah. playing video games or pursuing any form of entertainment and you are neglecting other parts of your spiritual life or the people around you, mm-hmm. you say, no, this, is, this, has gone, this has gone too far. And it's not to pick on video games, it's to pick on any form of entertainment. Anything. Yeah, if yeah. you, you know, like, like if you love watching sports, right? I think that's something that we... In America, we'd be like, yeah, it's okay for a Christian to watch sports, right? Like, yeah. we love sports, right? But if you yeah. were watching football, you know, all day, which I've done that, right? Like, sure. I do Me that, too. right? Yeah. And you watch you watch football all day, and you're neglecting your spiritual life, or you're neglecting the needs of people around yeah. you. Yep. Man, then you're you're treading closer into into sin, and, right? Like in video games, it's so easy to do that. Yeah. Um, for yeah. multiple reasons, you you like you said there's no limit to the amount of hours you can log into it. Yep. You're really into a video game. You could play that seven hours that one day, that yep. one Sunday afternoon, but then you could play that seven hours on Monday, Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday as yeah. well. Um, it, there's no end. The games are designed yep. that way. Yep. Um, but also there's, there's uh, because of online games these days, there's a, in most video games, almost like, a false sense of community that you can find sure. in there. Sure. Now there, there's true community. Like you can, you can meet up with a friend and that, that could be fun playing a video game together. I'm not yep. saying it's all bad, but, um, what, what we see, I think you probably see it a lot in student ministry. I see it, uh, somewhat in, in young adult ministry. Um, people isolate themselves mm-hmm. and then they turn to video games to give them almost like like a coping mechanism, yeah. a, a false sense of finding community there. Yeah. And that's dangerous for multiple reasons. One, because that's not a true community that's able to love on you and keep you accountable. They're not present with you. But also um, because those people are going to speak into your life and who knows who they are, where they're from, or what they believe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an influence in your life, 100%. Yep. And I yep. think it's, it's something to um, a byproduct of playing a lot of video games, right? Is that you can play video games and isolate, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, And that's a concern if that's the majority of your life, right? We're talking about like habits in the regular pattern of your life, right? So if the regular pattern of your life is, this is my main community or in Bible terms, you want to kind of like that Psalm one idea, right? This is where Mm -hmm. I'm planted. I'm planted in this and near this stream, right? Of these people, uh, then that can be detrimental, right? It's kind of that idea of who you hang out with. But then again, too, I think, you know, using video games to rest and relax, mm-hmm. maybe even to, you know, be alone and play video games quiet yeah. on your own. That's okay too. Like yeah. that's a valid form. Sure. In, in my mind, I know it's a different thing, but like it's not that different than a kid, you know, grabbing a book and sitting down and reading a, you know, their favorite book for a couple of hours. Sure. Like it's not, you know, sometimes people just need time to rest and relax and yeah. recharge. That's okay too. But it's about 
how you use it, when you use it, and and what you're doing while you're playing video games. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like I think that active form of um, entertainment is different and special about video games. Like you said, it's it's trying to be more immersive mm-hmm. and um, and so if we are playing video games and we have some sort of active responsibility as we're making decisions in these video games. And I think the way we play them Mm -hmm. actually matters as a Christian, right? I mean, there are are certain things you can do in video games um, that would be okay. And then certain things you can do in video games that would not be okay, right? Like, you know, if if you're playing a game and you're just uh, racing and and driving around the city, like, okay, there's no harm there, right? But if this is, Mm -hmm. you know, one of those video games, like some of them have, right? With some really like seedy, shady places that you can go into yeah. well, and see some stuff that's explicit. There's games that have literal pornography in it. Right. And uh, so like yeah. if you're accessing that pornography, right, then that'd be like clearly you can't say, oh, this is okay. That's yeah. not that's not edifying, right? There's a lot of biblical principles mm-hmm. that come up, you know, that idea um, of asking like what is... Uh, what is right for a Christian to do? That comes up a lot in First Corinthians um, mm-hmm. ten twenty three through twenty four, where the Apostle Paul is saying, "All things as a Christian, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. Mm. Um, all things are lawful, but not all things build up. Let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor." And so it wow. again kind of comes up again for you to think, okay, like as a Christian, you have the freedom in Jesus to play video games, hundred percent, hundred percent. You have that freedom in Jesus yeah. to play video games, but you have the freedom to do anything as a Christian Mm -hmm. apart from sin. But are these things that are neutral, you know, morally neutral, are they, they're lawful, but are they, are they good? Are they good for you? Are they they edifying? Are they building you up? And not only are they good for you, but are they good for your neighbor? Like, Mm -hmm. is it right? My life is not just about me getting the most enjoyment I can out of my life. My life is about, Hey, I, I'm here to seek the Lord, right? Love God with all I have, as Jesus would say, Mm -hmm. and love my neighbor as myself, serve the people around me. Mm -hmm. And so is this, is this activity helping me do that or hurting me from doing that? That's so good. And so, and you got to balance it, right? Because all of us are human beings Mm -hmm. and we need rest and we need relaxation and all of us seek and consume forms of entertainment like all of us do right whether it's movies or tv or social media or even podcasts that you're listening to right like these things can be forms of entertainment and it doesn't mean that we're never supposed to rest i mean jesus himself rested right god the father rested after creation like rest is okay and Mm -hmm. good um but it's it it becomes an issue of wisdom and balance i think Mm. uh with video games like it does with with a lot of things, yeah, a lot of things in life. I love that you brought up First um, Corinthians because he's he's talking about too, not just about ourselves, but the people around us. Yes, is it healthy for our neighbor? You know, and neighbor meaning who's next to you, mm-hmm. right? I love that it challenges you to think. Okay, is this edifying for me? Is this helpful for me? Um, it's lawful, it's permissible, but is it going to be helpful? And then also let me think about the person next to me as well, not just make it about myself. Right. And so if you're, if you're at home and you know, you're going to play video games all night and you're not bothering anyone, um, that's okay. Right. To an Mm -hmm. extent. But if it also means like it's holding you back from helping the people around you, yeah. then that's where you got to really question it, right? So if you're like or then at they home, show up to student ministry and they're like, oh, I haven't been able to read my Bible this week. It's just so right. hard to get up early in the morning and read it. Right. Or <laughs> yeah, right. Or like as or like as a husband, if I go home and I play video games, you know, yeah. when I'm at home, it's like, okay, no big deal. Everyone's asleep. But if I'm just like leaving a bunch of dishes stacked in the sink, like that's mm-hmm. not right. That's not cool. Mm-hmm. That's not, a, that's a way for me. I've missed an opportunity to serve mm-hmm. my family you know, by playing video games, but there's a balance there, right? Because like, not to get like super nerdy in church history, but like, sure. you know, you go back, you can go so far in that to like, kind of like that Puritan side where like we never rest, we never take a break. Like everything in my yeah. life is just go, yep. go, go, serve, serve, serve. And even on my, you know, rest days, it's just studying the Bible. Like mm-hmm. it's just hard to keep that up in our modern day culture in our, in our society. And that's today. really bringing us back to a workspace faith. Yeah, there personally, is personally in our own lives, yeah. right? It's like no, we 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 begin our faith from a place of rest, knowing that Jesus died on the cross for us. Yeah. It's like we're forgiven, yeah. we have grace, and we can rest in that. Okay, now let's go and live our lives for the Lord. So, so rest is okay as a Christian. Yep. It's okay to rest. Mm-hmm. Entertainment is okay as a Christian, as long as you're wise about how you use it, right? So yeah. you think about: is this causing me? Uh, uh, is this pulling me away from serving other people? Is mm-hmm. this 
uh, helpful for me in my own faith. Also, I think you think uh, about the people around you, like you said, right? Like yeah. there are forms of entertainment that might be okay for you and not for others. Maybe out of a, a feeling of conscience, they feel like they can't play video games or play a certain type of video game. Like that's okay for you to mm-hmm. then abstain from that. So rest is okay. What, Entertainment's how okay. That is, how mature that is to say, no, this is not healthy for my soul. I'm going to abstain from this. Yeah. So you have the that's, freedom to abstain from it as great. well. Like that's yes. okay too. Right. So the, you have mm-hmm. options here. You have freedom here in it. Right. Um, and so you want to use video games well. You want to use them with wisdom. Mm-hmm. But I think the question would then come down for us as Christians, for the people listening, right, is if it's okay for a Christian to play video games and with wisdom and balance and you know keep a check in their life, it's okay for a Christian to pursue entertainment and just go and rest and relax. What are maybe some good examples or good models of ways that um, a, a Christian can play video games for, for the good the good of, of God or the good sure. of their neighbor. Yeah. I mean, I, I can share my, my personal story or testimony with video games. Um, I grew up playing lots of video games. Mm-hmm. You know, I was in that age, I think as you were, you had the Super NES, the Nintendo 64. I had a Super Nintendo. The, I did. Oh, wow. The, the golden age. It of, was one of, of my first, games. yeah, it was one of my first Christmas presents for my sister. And I. One of the first ones I remember is the Nintendo 64. Well, you're, 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 no, you're a lot older, you're so, than me, so. Yeah, you can, everyone can tell with the gray hairs mm. there, the, the wisdom that yes. you show. All right, back on track. Um, go, yes. go ahead. So I, play, I grew up playing video games. Um, I, in, in high school, got really into this new game that just kind of got revitalized called Call of Duty. Mm, Call of Duty. Um, so Classic. high school years, spent a lot of time, a lot of time. Couldn't put it in, I probably shouldn't put it in hours, probably should put it in days, <laughs> um, maybe weeks, weeks over the yeah. course of my high school and, and college years. Yeah. I played, well, I would say maybe the first two years of college, I played a lot of video games. Yeah. Um, and I'd play a lot with friends. I, that was just what a lot of us did at that yeah. time. Um. And what I started to notice in my life was multiple things because of the excessive, I would say excessive amounts of video games yeah. playing most nights, right? Um, I noticed I would get angry easier, mm-hmm. right? I had I started to have an anger problem, um, which is not like me in that way. Mm-hmm. And for me personally, I'm not saying this is for anybody. For me personally, I started to attribute that and through my prayers about it, to playing too much Call of Duty. Sure. Like there was a clear connection there in my my mind. And so for me, it was healthy for me to take a break from it for a little bit. Uh, you know, I did a, a fast from it um, to kind of get away and back away from it for a little bit. And then I would spend some time, uh, I, I spent some time praying about it, whether or not I should, uh, should be playing video games and stuff like that. Because then I was in that phase of my life, I was a little more, I guess I would say legalistic, you know, should Christians at all play video games? Maybe they shouldn't play it at all. Maybe yeah, it's just, true. it's all evil. It's all bad. Yeah. Um, processed through that and tried to figure out, which is something I think we all should do. What a healthy balance. If I enjoy video games is what a healthy balance in that would be. Yeah. And it's going to be different for me than it would be for someone else. Yeah. And that season of my life, I was very busy. And so for me, it was barely any time yeah. to play video games. Fast forward to 2020. And a global pandemic happens, yes. right? COVID happens. We're doing young adult ministry, had to move online, do a lot of Zoom calls. That was a hard year for, yeah. for ministry. Yeah. And and so connecting with a lot of the guys in the young adult ministry was very difficult. Um, we would do the Zoom calls, we'd do all that, but you know, there's it's just, it only goes so far. Yeah. But then we started a Call of Duty chat. Yes. A new Call of Duty had just come out. It happened to be a remaster, a re- redoing of the one that originally came out in high school that I played played so much. So you were good. So right I was away. like, uh, I got to play this game. Like, that sounds a lot of fun. Um, hesitant to get back into it, but it launched almost like this Call of Duty ministry, yeah. right? Where I'm playing Call of Duty with these people that I can't see physically right yeah. now. But we're talking, we're hanging out on the chat while we're playing this game together. And yeah. I'm hearing about how their life's going and what's what what they're doing with their lives and you know, just just talking about things, you know, talking about life, having serious conversations on this video game playing Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. Right. In fact, to the point where there is one guy in particular who I had known prior, um, invited him to our Call of Duty chat. Yeah. Not to our ministry, not to our church, right? To our Call of Duty chat, because he played. He started playing with us, and when we reopened post-COVID, he came back to church. That's cool. 
And so now he's still present in our church, present in our ministry, um, because of the connections that he made through Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. Right? And so that, I think, to me, is an example on how God can use anything. Yeah. Right? And something like that, that's just a form of entertainment. Um, if we're willing to give it up to the Lord and we're willing to honor him with our time, like you said, we can play a little video games and, and enjoy that and, and find rest in it. But um, ultimately, we, we want to make sure we're honoring Christ with it and yeah. we're not abusing it because yeah. anything, entertainment especially, um, because we're susceptible to that, I think, in our culture, can become an idol. Yeah, absolutely. It can become an idol and, you know, kind of like the book of Revelation talks about losing your first love, right? Mm -hmm. Those things, anything yeah. can become an idol. Right? Yeah. The way we talk about Replace video games, God. yeah, is is similar to the way that, uh, you know, like alcohol can become an idol in our lives or lust, right? Or even more innocent stuff, right? Like TV, like we're talking about, right? And mm -hmm. so... Um, I think that's a good example of how a Christian can use video games well, right? Reach others, build a community, um, invite people into a relationship with you, and then invite them to a relationship with the Lord or, or to your church, right? Your church community. And using video games as that entry point, that you know mm -hmm. starting point for that relationship, I think is really cool. I think video games can be used well as a way for people to rest, um, as a way for people to unplug at the end of the day, I think that's okay. I think we all need those downtimes. Mm. Um, again, like any form of entertainment, you should ask those questions of, hey, is this the best use of my time? And maybe yeah. I feel like I need a little bit more than I actually do. Mm -hmm. And I think a good thing to ask would be to ask the people around you as well. Um, mm -hmm. If this is, if they see um, video games or if you're, you know, go home and your pattern is, hey, I go home and I get on social media for a couple hours a night mm -hmm. or I go home and I, you know, watch a movie every night, uh, then to, to ask the people around you, hey, is this getting in the way of any, anything, um, any yeah. other priorities in my life? And so to kind of check yourself, right? Like, how's my relationship with the Lord? Am mm -hmm. I... Am I spending time seeking his word? Am I spending time seeking him in prayer? Mm -hmm. Am I spending time serving others? Or do I feel like I have no time? And maybe it's because you're consuming more entertainment than you think. Maybe because yeah. you're playing video games more than you think. And for, for my parents out there, <laughs> who, <laughs> I get it. You're like, man, these video games are going to be the death of me. I, yeah. I understand. It's, it's okay for your kids to play video games, but you're still their parent. Mm -hmm. And so you are put in this this position between a very appealing activity of video games and still helping them navigate and manage their other responsibilities in the world. Yeah. And so it's a tough spot to be in. And, and there's wisdom. Every kid is different and every family is different, mm -hmm. right? But you do have an active role in that to make sure your kids are doing the things they need to do, right? Seeking the Lord, yeah. um, seeking uh, uh, to serve the people around them, right? They have responsibilities at school mm -hmm. or, you know, work or family responsibilities. It's important that they get those things done too. Uh, but kids love video games and, and they can be harmless. I think sometimes video games get, get, get a bad reputation mm. um, that you can play good video games and kids can really like it. I think it can be okay uh, in moderation too. That's not something you have to ban completely outright. Yeah. Um, that would be, that would be going too far. But I think really what it comes down to when we talk about can a Christian play video games or how a Christian consumes entertainment is that idea of where are you spending your time what and who is influencing you? Kind of like mm. you said, like, hey, I had mm -hmm. to take a break. You know, there's time in my life where I did the same thing, right? I grew up playing video games. Mm -hmm. There's a time in my life where I got rid of all video games and spent several years without playing anything, you know. Mm -hmm. And now it's slowly come back into my life, you know, and um, in in moderation, right? And so you think like, yeah. okay, how am I spending my time? And and really, that question that I the answer that I picked up really from Pastor Roby, our our pastor here, is is where am I planted? Like, mm -hmm. what are the big influences in my life and where am I spending yeah, the most good. chunk of my time? Because that's really what's going to shape you as a person. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be what you do for a little bit here and there for fun or entertainment or rest. What's going to shape you is your daily habits, where you spend your daily time, what you have to do. Yeah. And if you think as a human, right, every day you got big blocks of your time that are mapped out, right? You got to be at work. You got to be asleep, right? These, so you only have this little bit of time in between. And how are you spending that time? And what is the regular rhythms and patterns of your life? I just want to read this for us here is, um, I referenced it earlier, but Psalm 1, Psalm 1 starts this way. Psalm 1, 1, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, 
but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Mm. And on his law, he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither in all that he does. He prospers the wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. And Mm. it's this idea that, that where we are planted, right? What stream we are planted by then produces fruit in our lives. And so for all of us, right. And I think this is a valid question of video games Mm -hmm. because like we said, the way they're designed, but for all of us in all forms of entertainment in our lives, like, where are we planted? Like, what are we spending our time yeah, doing? Is that's good. is the main influence and drive in our lives the 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 word of the Lord? Mm-hmm. Is it seeking Him in prayer? Is He building us up? Or if we said no, the fruit of my life is you know my social media feed or you know my Xbox every night or whatever it is that you're spending. There's there's wisdom there, and we should consider the ways that we spend our time. Yeah. Like I I just look back through through Christian history, you know. And I would say, man, where where did the Apostle Paul spend most of his time? I feel like he didn't have a lot of hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like as modern day Americans, as yeah. modern day Christians, I feel like we cut ourselves a lot of slack. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're just okay with spending so much time on entertainment. I'm speaking to myself here too. Spending yeah. so much yeah, time on too. entertainment yep. that I do wonder if uh, you know there is... Uh, definitely stuff that we're missing out on, like work we could be doing for the Lord or for other people. And I do even wonder of, you know, bringing an account of my time to the Lord one day, right? When I sit with him and see like, man, here's all the hours I stacked up doing stuff Mm -hmm. that I put under, you know, just fun. Or, Mm -hmm. you know, was this really, really the best use of my time? You need rest. You need fun. I'm not saying you eliminate that stuff. Yeah. But do we really need as much as we say we do? Or do we, you know, really pursue entertainment all the time out of that need? Or is it just something that's drawn us away from what we're really called to do, which is a life of service, which is a lot harder Mm -hmm. than doing the fun, entertaining things that we like to do? Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good question to ask. I think it's good to practice wisdom uh, and uh, to really consider where you're planted, where you're spending your time how you uh, consume all forms of entertainment, but especially video games. Video games are powerful. It's important that we at least think about how we interact with them as Christians. That's so good. That's that's really good. That verse in Psalms 1, what's interesting to me is he draws a parallel to who you spend your time around Mm -hmm. and not with spending your time around good people or Mm -hmm. Christian people. Mm -hmm. No, it's a parallel between spending your time around sinful people Mm -hmm. Or spending time in God's word. Yes. And spending your time around Christian people is important yeah. because who you spend your time around, they will influence you. Yeah. Um, First Corinthians, I think it's 15 where it says, uh, do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good morals. Yeah. Like that is just inevitable. That's how we are wired. We get built up by the people around us or yeah. torn down. But the parallel he, he drives is, no, you're either planted by people who are shaping you or God's word. And, you know, there, I think we would probably all agree without even having to look up the facts and statistics that show, you know, reading God's word is at an all time low probably now. Um, it's a challenge to, for, to people, for people to find 15 to 30 minutes in their day yeah. to read God's word. Yeah. Um, but they're more than willing to put five hours a day into inter- entertainment. Yeah. You know, I think what was it? Six hours a day average on our phones now. Yeah. Um, and then for a gamer out there, I mean, it's six hours more. a day is probably lightweight for you, you know, <laughs> depending on the season of life you're in. I mean, we're, we're dads now. I right. Know, so man. sometimes as dads, like I, I can speak for some of the young dads out there, yeah. like, oh, video games are a nice outlet because you can play with friends at home yeah. after the kids go to bed. Right. So there's like. There's multiple reasons w- that it appeals to you, and that's yeah. how it is for me. And so I still try to keep it in check. Like you're saying, moderation is is key yeah. when it comes to entertainment. Um, but are you planted by God's word? Is that where you're spending the bulk of your time? Yeah. Is that what you're pursuing and, and seeking to take in as much as you poss- possibly can? Is that where you're planted? That's something that we all have to constantly keep ourselves in check in and something we will naturally drift away in if we're not careful. Yeah. So Christian, it's okay. Uh, It's okay for you to play video games, but use that, make that decision with wisdom uh, and with intent and how Mm -hmm. you engage with video games and other forms of entertainment. 
Make sure you practice moderation. Remember that guiding principle that you've got to make sure you have time in your life to seek the Lord and serve those around you. That that comes first. But mm-hmm. it's okay. Uh, it's okay to have fun. It's okay to relax. It's okay to play games with friends. That's okay, mm-hmm. depending on what you're doing and where you're doing it. Uh, so we sign off on it. We give it the yeah. pastoral okay I, from I Pastor so. Josh Slaughterback. <laughs> it is okay to play video games. And Pastor Craig. And Pastor right. Craig. It's okay. But with to wisdom. be mindful of the games and entertainment you choose. There you go. There you go. Good. Good yes. disclaimers. With all the disclaimers we've talked yes. about for half an hour. Yes, yeah. it's okay, but but with wisdom and moderation. Well, this has been our latest episode of the City Rev Life podcast. Make sure you please subscribe uh, to our podcast channel. Check us out on YouTube. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week in the next episode. See you later. Thank you so much for listening to the City Rev Life podcast. Feel free to subscribe and leave a rate and review. And we love it when you share it with your friends on social media. So don't forget to tag us at cityrev.church. If you're interested in more resources, download our City Rev Church app and follow us on social media. Thank you so much and have a great day.